I am somewhere in the Wasatch Mountains of Utah. It's Memorial Day weekend. I'm headed up into the mountains. Hoping to find some dispersed camping. So far so good, I'm loving this. This is day one of two days over Memorial Day weekend. I'm now headed up to Huntsville and I'm going to uh, be camping there tonight uh, so that I'll be in position to, for tomorrow's uh, Memorial Day. Uh, my parents are, are buried up in that valley and so um, yeah, I'm gonna get up and say hi. Well, I got a spot um, for the night. It's perfectly located. It has a commanding view of the Huntsville Valley and Pine View Reservoir. It's beautiful. I hope I can stay here and I'm not violating any ordinance by being here. I'll be gone. I'll be gone early. get in the tent and call it a night get some dinner it is such a beautiful time of the evening the light is is just shimmering upon the reservoir down there and the sky is just lit up but I'm sitting here enjoying my dinner I'm enjoying a uh, peanut butter bar and a cheese stick and some black olives uh, give me my healthy fat and a little water turn the little lights on um, up top and it's a beautiful time of the day and I'm just suddenly grateful for all the things that I have now one thing that I don't have is my wife um, she's been gone for eight days now, and I am feeling that I miss her. Love you, Melanie. Memorial Day is a big thing to me. Um, we honor those that laid their lives down, that fought um, for our freedoms and for the liberties that we have um, 
here in the United States. Day two of camping in the books. Uh, I've I've done it. Wow, <laughs> that's kind of fun. Um, could I live the nomadic life? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> it is it is fun though, playing with it uh, for a day or two, and it's interesting just being alone and being with your thoughts and um, yeah. Welcome to the inside of my sleeping bag. <laughs> I am loving this new bag. It is amazing. I love the size and how big it is and how roomy it is. Oh, I can really move around in this bag. And because it's a 20 degree bag, it's nice and warm. I've slept pretty good, but the birds are singing. It's 7.30. I'll get up and have some breakfast. This is kind of cool, but I think a bird has landed right on top of my truck. And the reason I say that is because there's a shadow um, right out here of a bird, and I can hear it singing uh, right up top. That was kind of fun. <laughs> All right, it is time for breakfast. This is creamy vanilla, it makes a yummy shake. So we'll get eight ounces. I'd like a little more, make it last. And add it in. Put the lid on and shake, 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 shake your shake. Seems a little redundant, doesn't it? <laughs> Probably about right. Oh, that just tastes good. <laughs> Wow, that was a lot of work for a little shot. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just coming off the mountain. We're headed down to the cemetery and it's right out in the middle of Pine View Reservoir. I've got a lot of uh, boyhood memories of Huntsville. My grandparents uh, lived here and they lived right down by the reservoir. Great times, it's a patriotic, wonderful um, little community. How cool is this? Look at this, Memorial Day, they have lined the street with uh, flags. Oh boy, we have got a line. I would say that most of these cars are headed to the, uh, to the lake. And I just want to go to the cemetery. I am the next car. I, I am just going to see my parents at the cemetery. Okay, well, you just keep going. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, that was simple. I think I'm going to run real quick and um, use the bathroom. Be a quick look at the lake before I head over to uh, the cemetery. You can see all the beach that is exposed. Usually the water will lap. It will lap right up almost to where I'm at. Alrighty. Here we go. The Huntsville Cemetery. Oh my heavens. It is so beautiful. 
It's set in this mountain valley and it is something to behold. The family plot is over here on the uh, on the right. Nope, on the left. There we go. Two of the finest people that I've ever known in my life. I miss them terribly. Uh, Dad's been gone for three years. Uh, Mom's been gone for two. Uh, but I'm excited uh, for them. They've successfully completed their mission here in life and they've moved on to their next great adventure. Uh, Mom and Dad, they owned and operated a community playhouse for over 35 years and entertain the community with wholesome, uh, good entertainment. Mom and Dad, what a, what a legacy you leave. Seven children. Wow, good for you guys. And uh, I love my brothers and I love my sisters. Oh, just an honor to be here. And I'm, I'm putting this video together um, so that my children and grandchildren will understand a little bit better um, the stock uh, that they come from and uh, wonderful wonderful parents i am honored to be part of this family mom and dad love you guys <laughs>here in the Huntsville uh, Town Square uh, because uh, this place holds a lot of memories for me. Uh, my grandfather uh, used to raise the flag for something like 60 years of his life. Uh, the flagpole is gone, probably moved, but now there's a monument um, to the dedication, the sacrifice of the early pioneers that settled this valley in 1860. And What's kind of fun as well is there is a list of the names and my family is right down here. Andrew P. Rindstrom um, is a great grandfather. Caroline Peterson was his wife. Arnold P. Rindstrom is my grandfather. They were converts uh, to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints from Sweden and came over, uh, left their home, and settled these valleys. Uh, Ruby, my grandmother, and there's dad, Keith A. Renstrom, and there are two uncles, Brian and Daryl. Anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Fourth of July, every year as kids, we were right here. Um, they had all kinds of fun contests right over uh, along this street, parallel, there was a big uh, open irrigation ditch and they would put fish in there that block off the end so the fish couldn't get through and then the kids would jump in there and you're trying to catch fish <laughs> with your hands and if you could get them you got a, a nifty prize but great times
just got off the freeway in uh, Centerville and you can see the V up on the mountain that is for Beaumont. That's the local high school there. So we're going to go see Marsha and Dick uh, and represent Melanie's side of the family. There it is. Hello, mom and dad, Christiansen. Those pinwheels are just too cool. <laughs> it is good to see you guys. It's uh, cool that they put a bench because it's an invitation to sit down and, and stay a while. Right down there is where they lived, just to the right. So, they're, they're close to home, because they have the most expressive uh, grave marker that I have ever seen. It's just all kinds of gems, things that they would say and were very fond of and familiar. It's remarkable how fast life just pushes on and, and how each generation um, eventually graduates and moves forward. It's up to the previous generation not to forget those that went before and made it possible um, for us. And so, Mom, Dad, Christiansen, love you guys. And Melanie and I are taking good care of each other. So, love you both. <laughs>